Okay, now we're gonna set up this text right here. You'll see it's simple, it's just a text box with some big text and we're gonna have to change the color of this a bit. So I'm gonna hit W here again to see the structure. And that text box just fits here in this row, it fills it fully. So then we can center the text right between the two margins. So I'm gonna take the text, the type tool, and click here in the corner and just drag to this, this other corner. And I'm going to come to my text file here and choose this line, copy it and paste it here. And the font I want for this, zoom in a bit again, switch back to the character properties and I want a Bodoni URW wide extra bold. This is what I'm looking for. And the size is 96. So you see it's really big. Uh, and I also need to center it. So again, going back to the paragraph properties, just clicking on a line center here. Now it's nicely centered. And I am going to select this word. Let me just set my screen here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to select this word and go back to the character properties. There will be a lot of going back and forth, especially if you don't have a big screen that fits all of the settings. So just selecting the word going back and here I have these two little buttons. Oh, the two T's here are just previews and the buttons are the arrows next to them. And the one at the top shows me the color the text is filled with. And the one at the bottom shows me the outline, but since it has this red line going through it, there's no outline and there shouldn't be any, so that's okay. And to change this, I can just click the arrow next to it. You see, I get a list of colors. Now, I don't have any gray. I can add new colors here by clicking the plus, but I don't need to because this is actually a black that's not as dense. That's what gray is in InDesign. So I'm going to leave this set to black and come here to tint. And if I lower this value, this basically, uh, if you apply this to different colors, you will see the effect is kind of a lightening and a lowering of the saturation. It's neither one or the other. It's actually um, a setting that kind of affects the density of the ink on paper, if you can imagine that. But that is the visual effect, a lighter and less saturated uh, color. Now, since this is black, we're not talking about any saturation at all. So it's just going to be the lightness that changes. And I'm going to click on this arrow to take this down. Or I can just click in here and write 50 for a 50% gray. And if I deselect, I can see that color there. And this is exactly what I want. And that's it for this short video here.